had a feeling you'd come back and save me From all those lonely nights and heartbreaks And I feel misplaced without you Why don't we go back to, why don't we go back to Never wanted to end Actually, um, my grad school program's online, so that whole montage was useless. <laughs> Thank you to Shortform for sponsoring this video. So I woke up super early this morning because it is actually my very first day of my second semester of grad school at Georgia Tech, where I'm studying computer science. If you're new here, my name is Josh Beasley. I'm a recent graduate from Yale University where I also study computer science. Now I'm active duty military. I live out in LA and I make videos about college tech and anything else I find interesting. If that sounds interesting to you, feel free to subscribe. So I had to wake up super early because I still actually have to work a full day's worth of work today. And it's an interesting thing trying to balance grad school and a full-time job, especially this semester now where I'm taking two classes. For my first semester, last semester I only took one class and was able to balance it fairly well. Um, it's still was a mess sometimes, but this semester we're, uh, we're bumping up to two. So today is the first day of classes. As of like midnight Eastern last night or whatever, um, the professors for my classes actually released the syllabuses and the schedules and the first round of assignments and everything. So uh, I got up as soon as I could to check all that out and try to get as ahead as I possibly can. I know in some of my prior videos, I had a lot of questions about the program that I've been doing, which is Georgia Tech's online master's in computer science program. And you guys were interested in me keeping you up to date on, you know, how that's going, what classes I'm taking. So I thought it'd be a fun video idea to take you guys along for my first day, get some honest reactions to what I think of the classes and how much work I think it's going to be this semester after reading the syllabuses. So uh, let's get into it. Before I get into that, I want to talk about the sponsor of today's video, which is a service I'm absolutely obsessed with, Shortform. Shortform makes short guides to nonfiction books and allows you to explore all of the ideas from the books you've always wanted to read. If you want a one-page summary, they have it. What about a full book guide that hits the key points from each chapter? They have it. Oh, and maybe interactive exercises that allow you to apply the knowledge that you've learned? Yeah, they have that too. For someone like me who's always short on time and loses track of the things that I've read, short form is like a book summary on steroids. They have books on business, self-improvement, history, politics, and they publish new guides every week that the subscribers actually get to vote on. Me personally, I've been reading a lot of finance books recently, so I just finished uh, a random walk down Wall Street. And I literally couldn't wait to check out the short form guide afterwards to kind of review all the main points of the books and answer their interactive prompts to make sure that I could actually apply all the knowledge that was in here. To get five days of unlimited access and an additional 20% off the annual subscription, join short form through my special link or click the link down in the description. No, no. Uh. I've tried this like three times, the things I try to do to get an interesting shot for the video. I love you guys. I hope you know that. Okay, so it's been about an hour. Went through the syllabuses for both, or syllabi, I guess, for both of the classes, and I'm here to give you my first reaction. So the first class I'm taking is called Machine Learning for Trading, and it's exactly how it sounds. It looks like the class is divided into three main parts. The first part being basic data science, working with data, so learning pandas, NumPy. Um, luckily, I already have some familiarity with that, so it shouldn't be too terrible. The second half deals with you know learning about financial markets, indicators, sharp ratio, things like that. And then the last part is actually applying the data science and machine learning techniques, like it looks like the, uh, you know, decision trees, regressions, things like that to financial data. The class has eight significant projects, which are, you know, coding based problem sets with reports and then um, two exams, a midterm and a final. So it doesn't look too terrible. I took a peek at the first assignment and you know, it'll definitely be good to get my hands dirty and start coding again because it's been a month or two. Now, the second class that I'm taking, I'm actually really excited for. It's called video game design, which wasn't the class that I originally had intended to sign up for. I have absolutely zero experience doing video games other than basic like command line games in Python or something that you learn when you first start coding. I actually had to sign up for it because the other class that I was looking at was full. And since I'm not far enough into the program yet, I don't have a super great priority when it comes to choosing classes. But nevertheless, I never thought I would be taking a class like this. and I'm super excited for it. So it looks like the class uses the very popular uh, Unity game engine. I've never worked with Unity. Um, the scripts are written in C Sharp, which I have a little bit of experience with when I uh, 
taught myself ASP.NET a couple years ago, but haven't used it for video game design and have no idea how to work with the game engine. So that should be interesting. But the class is broken up into two parts. The first part being working through, they call them milestones. Um, so it's like five different little mini projects that teach you different things about the Unity game engine, you know, like physics, animation, that sort of thing. And then the second part is actually a group project where I have to find four other people, form a team, and we spend the rest of the semester building a game. There's no exams, there's just two small quizzes and uh, those milestones. So it looks like most of the work that goes into this class is gonna be putting that game together because it looks like there's a lot of requirements for it. So I'm going in completely blind, don't know Unity, don't know game engines, uh, but I'm excited. I'm excited to kind of dip my toes in the water for something completely new. And with that, it's now 7.15, so I should really be getting to work. I know I don't talk about my job a ton on this channel. To be honest, I don't know if it's just something that I'm ready to talk about yet. Um, but for any of you that are interested in serving or my path through ROTC and commissioning and all of that, I'd love to answer your questions and maybe potentially make some videos about that at some point. So let me know in the comments or shoot me a DM if you're interested in that. With that, I will catch you guys when I get back. No. So next up, I'm actually headed to a little sunset picnic on the beach um, to celebrate a friend's birthday and probably have a bonfire afterwards. But I gotta get this camera off the tripod and pack up all my other camera gear um, because I think we're gonna take some sunset pics. I'm gonna try to put the drone up, that'd be pretty cool, but you know, it's also really obnoxious, so we'll see. I know one thing for sure. I've never been so close before. You are true. You are true.